episode three, A Crooked Mile. Hope nobody's dead, but I have a feeling a lot of them are. Who's that guy? Oh, uh, is that... What is his name, Cred? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed That's right. to right, Swinehart. For a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Yeah, right. A case to self. Oh, that sound not good. Don't go looking good. for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Are they fine? I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let oh, us know she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. I was worried about them. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. <laughs> Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Man, shut up, Swinehart. You don't know nothing. Business office. Bigby's freaking jacked, I know. by the way. I have to call you back. Who's the that? Is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Hmm. So what do we do now? What's our next course of action? Find Crane? Kill Crane? So, to recap... <laughs> Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. Smart. I know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Perfect. Good job, Buffkin. about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. Is there know. anything else? No other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. There's gotta be something we can do. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Psh, great Just, question. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I feel like I it's know. not Crane. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get hmm. it, but do you really think he killed those women? I think he killed because Lily. Just... From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Hmm, yeah, interesting. It doesn't make sense. I almost forgot about that Faith He's, girl. <laughs> he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Ugh. That's a creepy way to say it. Prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. That's that can Thanks for tonight. I have a scar with twelve from six or seven that stitches that really terribly. I mean even worse than it did. Uh, I feel bad for Holly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. This kind of stuff shouldn't happen at a funeral. Everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. She said it the worst so far, for sure. I mean, except for maybe the dead Can girls. I, um, ask you a question. Yeah. It's kind of personal. Uh huh. And I don't want to offend you, uh, but after tonight. Yeah, just say it. Sure. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like. Like it did tonight. Mm -hmm. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. Interesting. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. <laughs> because it gives you an excuse to mm. just, you know, stop pretending. Pretend? Uh, did I get that in time? guess not. I guess it doesn't matter. I meant to click that. But, oh well. Uh, guys? We have a problem. Missing a little fragment? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Oh, crap. What I'm on the case. Missing a piece. Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard. Ah, uh, smart, <sighs> smart, smart. I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. No, you're fine, Buffkin. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. 
Well, that's not entirely true. What? Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. What's no? What's the hard what way? Exactly, is the hard way. We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Ah, uh, real detective work. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was not that <laughs> smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Whoa. Okay, Buffkin. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Sorry, Buffkin. I kind of wanted to know what he was going to do. Let me talk to him. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. How? Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. Okay. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His hmm. Witch. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Interesting. Hmm. A witch. Hmm. See anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? No, I'm just saying it for fun. Of course I mean it, Buffkin. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. You're a champion. Uh, let's look around first before we talk to Snow. What do we got here? Oh, I guess we're going to walk around first. No, there we go. Hmm, open the drawer. Maybe there's a secret compartment. Oh, the Office of Business Affairs couldn't read the rest. What are you? Official compendium of authorized users, maybe? Uh, there's a page here hmm. that was torn out. Oh, yeah? The Ring of... Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Hmm. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Hmm. Why not mention this before? He, no one asked me. I asked Buffkin. him. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. I asked him. What are you talking about? Set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. Uh oh, we gotta figure out where. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me. I called to just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it. Okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Mickey. Okay. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? Well, we don't know if he's the murderer. I think it'd be nice to have oh, help. Please. Of course he is. Maybe it's you. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. <laughs> She does not like giving out. A.M. We need Listen, help. Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Oh, I agree. What do you know about Crane anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. <laughs> okay. That Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. Oh. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. You need to calm down. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. <sighs> Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Wow, you need to calm down. You're not helping anybody. Everybody needs to just slow their roll. 
All right, let's just look on the bright side. And look on the bright side, no exactly. Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And Great job. That he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about. No problem. Two a.m. Peace of <laughs> <laughs> Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Mm, fair point. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. <sighs> Has to be our focus. I think I agree. Holly has Lily's things. I'd probably yeah, be less likely to die. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. We gotta the split our resources. We looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. <laughs> Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know I what agree. it is. I don't think you should go up there. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now <laughs> in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couches. Yeah, that seems the most likely option. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. Ooh. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. That makes us more He's difficult. I agree. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Hmm, let's think about this. We definitely do not want him in Crane's room. In my opinion. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. <sighs> I don't need sympathy, and I don't need... Three choices? All right. I don't want him in Crane's apartment. I don't care if he goes to the other two places. So I'm gonna go to Crane's apartment and he's gonna go somewhere else. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Yeah. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out. First. Well, that's not perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles office. Perfect. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope I do too. I just don't want him in Crane's apartment. Because I feel like that's the... I wish you would have gone to Holly's, though. <sighs> Dang it. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, control now. Mm, I hate this. I hate these, these decisions are so difficult. What's this? Wait, who's this? 1902. Who's here? This is Briar, Briar Rose. Rose. And here is who? Oh, that's Bluebeard. No. Crane lives in one nine zero three. Thrushbeard. I don't know him. Interesting. All right. Why is the door open? Uh, crap. Anyone in there? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone in. They now they're prepared. Crane? Such an idiot. Twelve oh five a.m. One hour fifty five minutes left. Oh boy. Ooh. It's a nice statue, Crane. Of yourself in your own house. Damn it. Must have missed Well, him. I don't think there's gotta be something about I was gonna say I don't think here. he was gonna be here. Uh, is there anything in this this globe looks suspicious? Can't go to it. That's fine. What's here? Come on. Oh look at the books. Math, science, history. The joy I of lovemaking. This shit didn't work. Wow. <laughs> okay then. I've never seen him that excited. Hmm. Guess things have changed. 
So that's just those three. Nothing special there. What about over here in his wine cabinet? Same brand we found in the open arms. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we oh, no, go there last. Let's look at the desk first. Anything? Anything. What's in this envelope? Money. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. So it is it's, it's, it's a larger. Uh yeah, we're confiscating the money. I always take the money. What if I need to pay somebody off? They don't just give me a paycheck, it doesn't seem like. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watch my whole body shivers. <laughs> wow. Because I love you. Watching you work makes my whole body shiver. Oh, there's a key. Hello. I want that. Don't even know what it's to, but I want it. Might be useful. Let's play his answering machine. In the old days. Right on, pal. Oh, so some See ya. sounds like some, uh, I guess, prostitute. Another one is calling him. I guess maybe. Not sure. What's over this way? Here's his statue. That other little statue must have been the headless horseman. Can I move it? Really? Can I open a secret passage potentially? No. Is there anything further down here? No. Uh, let's use this key. Does that work? Be nice and easy. Perfect. Oh, Jack. Grab him. Uh, oh. <gasps> Jack. <laughs> wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. <laughs> this weather, right? Right, yeah. A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself now. It's probably just stealing because okay, you know what's okay, going okay. here. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to oh, water his plants when he's Oh, that makes so much sense. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done, I don't see any plants. <laughs> hey! Oh boy, I almost missed okay. that. You got me. Just take it easy. Tell me make a big why you're here. Us. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. Give it up. What is it, Jack? I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't what need sources? Anything. And you heard this from? What does it matter? No, 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 it does matter. You're telling me. What else do you want me to say? Who you heard it from? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just Don't me. Don't you freaking lie. Easy. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit him. Mm, don't show off that. That's bad. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Hmm. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. I don't think so. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Oh yeah? I may not know why you're here, but... I'm listening. Go 
on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the Oh, really? I can tell you who she is if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. What's the deal? I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the... Hmm. I'll take it. Come on. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now Ouch. Tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. <laughs> Her name is Auntie Greenlee. Okay. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scouts on her. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-oh. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. you got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean... That's more than what you came in with. Uh, fair point. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you All know. Alright, Jack. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. I sure hope so. <sighs> no, 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 no. It was just lovely running into you, baby. I want to keep that. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. What's in there? Wait, what's that? Glamour tube. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? <sighs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. How do you know as much about her but don't know where she is? The lucky pawn. The lucky pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Oh Get yeah, it. I got that part. <laughs> yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. <laughs> wanna try? You wanna try that again? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Big me? Uh oh. Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Nothing. Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. <laughs> Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half ass <laughs> Do you think this is tied to the murders? I doubt that. Well, I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Yet. Hmm. We still have to find yeah, him. Yeah, let's just catch right him. Now I honestly don't care. I just want I feel like this crooked man right. guy is going to be a Crane's big guy we got to worry about. And we have no idea where she is. Hmm. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where she's meeting. records. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we. Well, she's a name. Anything. Wouldn't that Even help? the name, but we don't have time to wait around. Dang it! You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. Oh There's crap! Still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved, and we know that's where Bluebeard. Yeah, went. fair where point. Do you oh go? gosh! We don't have much time. Crap! This is so hard. I feel like she's already burned them. I'm going to the office. I'm gonna go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. You need to go. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Might have been a mistake. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk oh, to Oh, dang it. <laughs> Almost got away. 